What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. I know we're right in the middle of this Bronco build right now. We're still waiting on the sound shield to show up and the primer to come, but we got a special surprise I think none of you saw coming. We got a special delivery about to roll through that door and um, it's kind of gonna set the tone here for uh, what's to come as I wrap this up. We also have a fat five inch dual exhaust to throw in a Cummins here um, today as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Park it on the lift. Flip it. What? Flip it around? No. Well, now that you say that, probably. It should. Let off. Yeah, it should stay. We can just turn around. That'd be easy. Can we do a 360 in this bitch? 
guys it got a little late last night after this beauty got dropped off let's go outside and look at our third gen and then I'll tell you a little more about this cab and also I'll tell you a little more about this exhaust here in a second you're gonna want to see what that's going on oh don't they just look fantastic out here all together oh <laughs> Before we get into the third gen, I don't know if I'm going to sell this, keep this, give it away. If any of you are interested in like a selling thing or like a giveaway situation, let me know. I have no idea what I want to do with the 7.3. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck, 400 some horsepower. The thing moves. It's incredible. I just don't get the time to drive this just beautiful beautiful truck and i would rather have one of you enjoy it if if so possible but if that was something you guys are interested in let me know well here we have it it is snowing sleeting doing whatever it is here is our third gen cummins project see if the battery's not dead in this i think we're still good Ooh, still worked it definitely will not start there's no way dead that's fine oh yeah that's barely hanging on here well anyway here's our third gen cummins project this is what we're dealing with here a once old work truck i'm not really sure what this thing was used for because it kind of rotted out in the most weird way look at these doors perfect cab corner that's the only rust on it right here cab corners are mint and it's like the rockers are still there and it's just starting right there. Same thing up here, mint. Inside of the doors, just starting. So weird. Outside of the doors, eating themselves alive. The frame, we'll get to the frame and that stuff in a second. And you kind of get the same deal over here. Now when I bought this, my plan was to completely restore it, which I still am. However, um, I figured I had a lot more to work with. This is the unfortunate situation that happened the other day. Right here, I put my finger right into the frame. You can break it off, do whatever, it's crunchy. Now when I first bought this, this was my only area that I was worried about. And frankly, I wasn't that worried because I'm planning on cutting these brackets off and putting a nice long arm suspension on however if you look at the rest of the frame and how everything else is kind of laid out it's really not awful it's just a little crusty and sandblasting should do even back here it's just crusty the factory powder coats coming off was no issue at all however the moment i put my finger through the frame when i was just checking this out trying to get you know get things in order for this build the other day as soon as i did that this turned into a whole lot more if you guys missed that we already kind of got started working on this we got a brand new tailgate thrown on there we got that awful bed liner and like tanu cover off of here which revealed this mess however oh i wish it should there it is battery's almost dead but 145,570 miles and not only is the 2006 Cummins one of my favorite vehicles of all time
Well, I can't show you under the hood, but this thing's completely stock, 100%. And I'll show you the exhaust to prove it. Stock tip, stock muffler, and that old dinosaur right there. And I know a lot of you miss this guy and want to see this done. Don't worry, it's coming exactly after this one. And I'll tell you why in a minute. You may be like, why do you have a whole cab? Well, here you have it, a 99%, 96% rust-free third gen cab. Obviously a lot different than what you just saw out there. Underneath this thing, check it out. Spotless, you can eat off of it. Needs a little cleaned up, a little mud here and there. That's no, that's no problem. Core supports all mint. Obviously the uh, cab corners are all original. Here's under the back of it. And now the only rust on this cab is exactly where a common point is. And it's this seat bracket here, this whole thing. They all kind of rot right here and then down here you could see it kind of made its way through the floor. That's really not that bad because we'll be able to cut a section out of this. This, all this stuff here is just the factory sound deadening. Obviously we're gonna redo that. That's minimal and that's an easy cutout. And we already have this part, this piece, a brand new one to replace it. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but a rather simple fix. Compared to what's out there, I think the cab's pretty cool and it probably needs sandblasted underneath, but this thing just needs power washed, so that's awesome. So long story short on this cab, I bought that third gen, my plan was to restore it, and I was gonna use that as my daily driver, work truck, whatever, eight foot bed, throw uh, so much room, and, and I could haul anything, do anything, and that was the plan. That kind of still is the plan. However, we are taking up a notch and we are completely rebuilding a Cummins from like scratch. If you guys have been following the Bronco build over here, you saw us, as you can see, this interior is still stripped as well. Um, we're in progress of putting this back together, waiting on a few things uh, to sound dent in the floor, and that's that's gonna be mint. However, this is a, this, being a 2021 and taking it completely apart. Going from this and turning it into a 2006 that we just kind of have to swap some things over is going to be significantly easier. Now my comment on the first gen I made out there, now think about it, from tearing apart a 2021 to tearing apart a 2006 to tearing apart a 1991 do the math. Look at how easy that's going to be. I wanted to put a lot of time, effort. I want it to be 100% like factory brand new. And that's what we're going to do. However, it's going to take significantly less time. And I can put, a, you know, a lot more effort into that thing. You know, after warming myself up with some things that are extremely difficult, semi-difficult. And then we'll go with, you know, the easy mode out there. That's kind of why we pushed it off. Because I really want to put a lot of time and attention into that thing. Because I want that thing like it came off the factory line. What which gets me back into this and unfortunately we're gonna be doing the same thing to the third gen after I put my hand through the frame that kind of meant it was like go time for me and we needed to collect all of the parts plot twist though at the same time that we're gonna be building this <laughs> my buddy was also gonna build his third gen and that third gen turned into a different third gen and then that third gen turned into a different third gen so for a minute he had three of them and the one that we're actually going to use the frame off of, yes, we're going to put a whole new frame underneath that black truck out there. The frame <laughs> off of the one of the trucks he had in that same truck that the frame's coming off of is what this was supposed to be on. However, full circle, he bought a completely rust-free Cummins from Georgia and... Um, he didn't need these parts anymore so there wasn't any crazy sourcing of parts they all kind of just fell into my lap because we're going to be building two incredible cummins at the same exact time i've got a rusty one he's got a rust free one i need a work truck he needs a show truck you know what's about to happen double build one's going to be a completely full off restoration cab frame all of it obviously the dash has to come out the other one the hvac the everything this is a blank slate here this is just the shell so the black truck is getting a cab it's getting new doors it's getting a new bed it's getting a new frame the frame that we do have is still a little crusty but it's way more salvageable like we already started sandblasting it a little bit uh, last fall that frame is completely salvageable that one is just 
not. So we're gonna sandblast that other frame. I don't know if I'm gonna powder coat it or paint it, but we're gonna do the whole thing. And we're gonna rebuild my third gen Cummins that I bought for 2,900 bucks, which is now gonna turn into a completely rust-free, 144, 45,000 mile third gen Cummins. And the best part about it, when I sold my 06 back in the day, I sold it with 144,000 miles on it. And I wish I never did. That was my favorite truck and the opportunity to completely build one, 100% rust free. Right where I left off is gonna be crazy. Now to this exhaust. This thing is crazy. This is a five inch dual exhaust. This thing is crazy big. And not to mention, look at this, 409 stainless. All the hangers are welded so nicely. And this is the money right here. This is a, I don't even know how, I don't even know what year it was. I think this is a 2018 Flow Pro downpipe. And this is one of the nicest exhausts um, I ever saw. Has a nice flange on it, nice quality pipe. And this exhaust that you can find in the description. Check this flange out. You don't see this nowadays. Usually they're not this, at, like it's not an actual flange. It's like some weird metal you gotta bend out to fit perfectly, but quality downpipe from years ago. Check this out. You literally, you literally can't find this nowadays. It, this is truly, truly a beautiful, beautiful exhaust and um, I can't get over it. This all came about when I was looking for an exhaust for the 06. I wanted a five inch exhaust for it and I was looking around and I came across this exotic thing, a five inch true dual. Um, look at that <laughs> Y pipe. And on top of that, look at these crossover over the axle down and out side exit. These things are huge. This is massive. Um, I can't wait to put this thing on and see how she does because I haven't seen something like this in so long. And comparing the quality of that to an exhaust from years ago, that's, it's impressive. However, let's get this thing thrown on, see how she sounds. Um, I think it's gonna be quite, uh, quite impressive. For the longest time, I was one of those guys. I didn't have a connector to connect the four inch down off the S460, whatever, to the five. So it just sat dumped under the cap. No, it should be this. Yes, I got it. No, this one. Yeah. Were you taking the one off? Wow, that's impressive. First time I've seen a break like that. Right. <laughs>
not even. Got it. You sure you got it? It's just like finding the hole. We struggle a little, but we get the slide bracket on first. I'm waiting. He'll do it again. guys well hopefully that gets you excited for what's to come we got lots of cummins content two third gens first gen um green trucks getting a complete lift lift change makeover the whole thing we got lots of diesel lots of everything coming soon we got all the pieces of the puzzle and i can't wait to put them together if you enjoyed this video shoot a thumbs up if you haven't here before please get down there click subscribe drop me a comment if you haven't already take care and i will see you guys in the next one